hello, Blackburn here. Welcome to the first episode of Joy of Photoshop. I know that name is completely original, made by me. There's a little problem though. My Photoshop is in Polish. I tried to change that to English and I uh, fucking failed. But remember, everything I have is in the same spot as in your Photoshop, but in different language. So just press in the same spot as I am pressing and you are good to go. Never mind, as I'm doing this voiceover, I changed my Photoshop to English somehow, so yeah. Next video in English, woo! So yeah, I hope you're still watching the video, enjoy, and let's start. And the winner is Dobry Człowiek, with his Highlander Arm Wrestling Raider. Not gonna lie, that sounded spicy. The first thing you will need is, the most important thing is the sense of aesthetics. If you don't have one, you can just go to MS Paint and make some shitty thumbnail or steal someone else's work and name your channel Paint Zero. And the second thing you will need is, of course, Photoshop. So let's go to file and make a new project. And here you pick size, DPI and color models. Everything is up to you, but these are settings for this specific video. I then went to Envato Elements and downloaded this picture. Envato Elements is a stock site with over 50 million uh, assets for your Photoshop needs like brushes, pictures, overlays, everything you want. And no, this video is not sponsored by them, I just I just wanted to, you know, make a little ad. So yeah, Envato Elements, hit me up, we can make a deal, you know. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. To change the size of your picture, you just press Ctrl T. That way you can change the size and if you hold shift, it will change proportionally. I then use the pen tool to separate the background from the arm wrestling fellas. Then I press Ctrl Shift J to separate the selection from the background creating a new layer. Then I found a picture of a viking tavern and just pasted it in the background. <laughs> That's gonna be a long video. Then I use a filter called dripping and I'm stretching as I'm speaking. That's not very professional. <laughs> and by doing that I achieved a f nothing. I have no idea why I did that. We'll delete them anyway. So yeah, that was pointless. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Yeah, j just, just don't. I know you're not even trying to replicate that, but don't do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I then use a stock picture of a wood texture to make my own table. We'll not use the table in the original pic. Then I use adjustments. Uh, if you don't have it in the same spot as me, you can press here. There we go. And yeah, I then used a hue and saturation layer, clipped it to the layer below. To clip you just hold ALT and then press space between two layers. And yeah, and now it's brown, cool. I then went to just sketch me to pose few models and pasted them so they can help me later in the video. I then paste a candle in the spot that is probably the dumbest spot to place a candle when, while someone is arm wrestling, so yeah, you know, if the person on the left loses, he's gonna burn his hand, but you know, it, it's too late now, the artwork is finished. But I pasted the candle to make a cool light source, to make lightning more dramatic. Well, I didn't think the candle is in a pointless f***ing place, but yeah, well, it's, it's good. It's good, it looks cool in the end, so yeah, that's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> I then used another pick of the candles, but with black background, and then set layer blending mode to screen. I then pressed right click on my background layer, converted it into a smart object and then went to filters and Gaussian blur. I then used a mask to get rid of the effect in some places and that way create a little depth of field effect. Even though we have uh, more and better ways to achieve depth of field, but you know, I'm kinda retarded and I completely forgot about them. Quick Photoshop tip. 
don't use right click button or these keys to change the size of your brush. If you are doing that, you are pretty bad at Photoshop and you should quit. But I have a little tip for you. Use hold alt and then press right click and move your mouse. That way your brush size will change depending on how much your mouse is moving. You're welcome. Let's continue. As you can see now, I am posing a female model to, you know, make Valkyrie in the background, but then I realized it would look like mess, so later in the video you will see me deleting completely Valkyrie. So she and Shaman will not appear in this project. Uh, but let's pretend this tavern is only for men, there we go. Then I launched the game, and uh, using Nvidia Ansel, I took many screenshots to match the position of the limbs with the position of the limbs in the model I have in my project. Then, using color range and select and mask option, I've deleted green screen. And then used warp, uh, so I can match the position a little bit better. And I did that to every single hero. Now I used exposure, something that is in here, 
adjustments and then exposure. I made it dark but not completely black. Clip this layer to the layer below so only the layer below will be affected by that. And then using a shortcut Ctrl I, I inverted the color in layer mask. Then while I was in the layer mask I used a white brush to paint on our layer. The brush was not full opacity, I didn't want a full dark, I, I wanted to control the shadows. And then I did the exact same thing, but the exposure this time was bright. And here I am doing something, I have no idea what. I used hue and saturation adjustment layer, but I have no idea what is happening. Why? Why I did that? For colors maybe? No idea? Don't mind me. And using this exposure thingy, I applied shadows to a table and a candle. And then I repeated the whole process of using exposure layers to Highlander. Then I applied another exposure layer, but for the background since foreground lightning wasn't matching the background lightning. Then I right clicked on a layer, turned it into a smart object and went to brightness and contrast to make it more contrasted. Then I used camera raw filter to make the characters a little bit more yellow. Then I used exposure layer again, mm, what a surprise, to make highlights. Then I use hue and saturation layer to make yellow highlights. And now I'm gonna explain how to do it. In hue and saturation, click colorize. And then try to match the colors of your characters with the lightning source. Then while being in the mask, click Ctrl I to invert the mask. And then using a white brush, you can start painting highlights. I then used a right click button on a layer, went to blending options and used something called blend if. If you hold alt and click on one of the sliders, you will separate it into two pieces. And that way your effect can be more smooth. Then I made a new layer with blending mode set to color, used a yellow brush and then made my characters yellow in some places, like close to the candle. And then I repeated every single thing, starting with exposure layer to make shadows, ending with hue and saturation to make highlights, and applied that to every hero that was waiting for me. Finally, I can just uh, shut the f*** up, and you can enjoy the music and see how magic happens, and I will come back to you if I will do something new, something that needs explanation. Uh, for now, enjoy.
Hello, it's me again. I know I'm sad too. Here I added lens flare, set its blending mode to screen. Then I added dust particles, set its blending mode to lighten. Then I added the sparks to the candle and of course the blending mode is screen. And then almost finally added smoke and some sparkly fiery overlay to it. And the blending mode was, of course, it was screen. Then I added my uh, fancy logo that I made. And then finally camera roll filter. I made a new layer, pressed this shortcut, made this layer into a smart object, went to camera roll filter and then changed few values. And then finally I added exposure layer to make the shadows and the blacks not so black. <laughs> nice, let's hope I am not getting banned for saying that. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, we are done. Only took me 4 hours and fucking 3 days of editing this shit, I am quitting this YouTube crap, I will not bother doing that. It takes time and I don't like wasting that. Bye, have a good day. But yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, go fuck yourself. If you want, you can leave another idea in the comment. Don't expect this type of video anytime soon, because it takes time and it's boring as shit. <laughs> maybe without commentary, maybe, maybe then, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, can you count how many times I said then in this video? Because I think more than 100. <laughs> if there's something I did and I didn't explain and you want to know how to do it, just tell me in the comments and I will make sure to answer you. So, thank you for watching. If you watch the whole thing, you are probably crazy and something is wrong with you. I love you so much. No homo though. And have a great day. Bye bye. <laughs>